I'm Eric Kamm and I'm the solution market strategist for ICI Do. That's a virtual reality uh, product and solution brought to you by ESI Group. What we're seeing lately is that we're starting to engineer cars that have never been made before. The idea of a car that drives itself, a, a, a car that I'm going to use like a living room, is a new thing and we don't have any experience in building those. And we can't apply the normal rules or the guidelines that might have existed for how to build a autonomous e-mobility vehicle. I mean, that's not been done before. So I can't look up in the bag of tricks of how people have done it for the last hundred years. And that also means that we have lots of opportunity to try things out. But also we have these short timelines, really aggressive product development goals, and how are we going to figure out how to build that car if we don't have 20, 30, 40 iterations to figure out how to do that. So what we see as an opportunity is we can use virtual reality, virtual prototyping tools to give everybody a chance to experientially gain that new knowledge, that new know-how in how to build these cars that have never been built before. And that's really exciting with what's going on in mobility and going on here today. Computer simulation and analysis have been mostly focused on deterministic pass-fail criteria for automobiles. But we're really seeing now today that we need to bring back the human into that design process. And what we're really trying to do is try to find a more human-centric way to evaluate our products, the processes that make them, that operate them and maintain them, and also the people, how they're going to interact with those new products in the future.